Now we will run the Asset Balances app, but it's going to be interesting because it uh, will run the new version. And so we will explore how can we use it and the benefits. So it's this one, the Asset Balance is accessible. And as you can see, it will it complies completely like with the, some of the Fiori guidelines for new apps, in which um, the idea also is uh, to have as much uh, things possible in just one screen. So, uh, for example, even the parameters, uh, they are not uh, in a separate screen. We can have them on the same screen. Then um, the values uh, in another section of the screen and maybe a third section just to uh, modify the navigation settings. And it would be just really interesting to have a look at that. Uh, so let's just wait for it to finish. A bit slow today. But it's coming. So, well, again, as we have been saying, we have everything on one screen. Uh, it's not separate, like in parameters and then the report and then just modifying things. So, well, to test this, let's uh, well, start entering our our parameters the depreciation area will be for this example let's stick with 32 fiscal year let's do it 2021 and december to period for the currency type 10. Um, we can of course just click go and the system will bring the data will, uh, will just query the database and bring back the data but uh, you might be familiar uh, if you have been using the system for a long time, like with variants and just saving, so we don't have to type all of the parameters again. But in this Fiori app, we have it here at the top left, the variant uh, possibility to just and to save as these settings, these parameter values. So let's save it. And we'll just enter a, a name for it and set this as the default. Now, well, let's save. And as you know, well, to test uh, that this is working, we have to go back, just quit this app, and start again. So let's see if now we can just use this variant so that we don't need to type everything again every time we start the asset balances app. So yes, definitely, and also because we uh, left this as the default, now all the data, uh, all the parameters are here for us. So we can just click go and the data is here immediately. So well, of course, we have um, just a nice report uh, here in this Fury app that it's showing, uh, for example, the in the rows we have the account determination, the asset class, and then like the actual uh, values for these columns. Uh, we have the balance amount, the um, uh, for the uh, APC, for the ordinary depreciation, and for the netbook value. But well, of course, this is really interesting. Also, how can we just use these available fields uh, to add them, maybe to the rows or to the columns, and have uh, an an immediate change? So right now, what we want, um, we want the asset uh, because we uh, don't have that data yet. We have the account termination, the asset class, but not the asset. And we want to go to that level. So it's really easy because we just have to locate um, the characteristics that we are interested in this list. And then we can just add it to the columns or to the rows. In this scenario, we'll do it to just for the, uh, for the rows. Let's add this as another criteria for the rows. So well, at first, uh, important, uh, and immediately here we see the, the impact. We have it as a new criteria for the rows. Now, here it's a bit more difficult. Let us uh, let me just scroll down. Because now, well, we have the account termination uh, columns, the, the asset class as the next criteria. But if we scroll now, we see the individual assets. So that is a uh, perfect, that is exactly what we wanted to achieve so now we have the breakdown in these values but what's also interesting important and really easy to accomplish is to remove 
So to remove, uh, right now we want to remove the account determination. So we can move it to columns if that is something we want. But actually we want just to remove this uh, immediately. So uh, let's just remove the account determination. And now we have it exactly just with the asset class and then the breakdown uh, for individual assets. Uh, there are so many other things, of course, uh, just to, to show some some more, let's uh, sort, for example. So we can just select the column for which we want to sort and just super easy, we can just, uh, for example, sort ascending. So we have like the low value assets, then the, the vehicles, buildings, for example, and now actually we can just, let's let's sort now descending, which of course now the first uh, machines are, the, this uh, actually this one is the most expensive, so we have everything set up correctly. There are of course some other things, like I say, we, we have been saying the filters, measures, a lot of things very similar to other reports that we are now used to in the SAP system, but Really nice to know this app complies a lot with these Fiori guidelines and is nice to use. Well, well, for the time being, that will be it for the report and for the lesson.